board. Remember how I talked about you know using the smart board for presentation, smart board for interaction, moving things, and this is now the reflection, the assessment part. Um, and this is what we did sort of this year. This was a couple of weeks ago in second grade. We were looking at the different strategies for addition, um, and we started to analyze the two between the jumping by tenth and splitting. And so this is actually kids' work. So I just took a screenshot. You know, I scanned their work in. Um, we're quite lucky because our Xerox machine can scan things into directly a PDF file, which gets sent to me via email. And then I open up the PDF file, I take a screenshot, and then I just import it as an image. And so, for example, we'll have all the kids look at this. And they're all sitting on the carpet, and they look at this, they look at the problem, and they look at how kids, I'm sorry, for those of you in the back, that's the problem. And they look at how different kids, how this kid solved the problem, and then they go, gee, what strategy is being used here? You know, looking at literally this is their own, you know, classmates' work. And they're like, okay, so they'll sort of, you know, analyze it and talk about it. And they'll agree that it's splitting because you're splitting both numbers. Um, and then they look at this. And sometimes I set that up with just, you know, you know, words or sentences. And this I got from their numbers train. So this is actually kids' language. 85 because I counted up three tens and I got 85. So now they have to argue and reason with each other as to which strategy is being used here. Um, and they have to really think about that, and what is the evidence of that. Um, and then, you know, let's see you look at this one. I'll move this down so you guys can see. Um, if you look at this one, 67 plus 29. This kid started at 67 plus 10, 77 plus 10, 87 plus 5, and plus 4. Okay, so then what strategy is that? Are you splitting it, or are you, you know, jumping by tens? And so this is just one example of how you can use student work uh, as part of a lesson to really analyze what you understand about operations. This can be done with subtraction, it can be done with multiplication, it can be done with anything. You just have to think about what it is that you're highlighting. And for those of you who have older kids who have laptops, they can say, you know, say it's an algebra problem or something like that, they just email it to you, you take a screenshot, put it up, and it takes a couple, a couple minutes, but you can be able to see, everyone can see what so-and-so did. And you can you write all over it and have other people make comments. And, a little unwieldy, it's not instant, um, but it's pretty quick. Yes. So this is something that we are starting to become better and better at, is using student work as part of our instruction, um, and letting that letting that be the critical, because the kids are also talking about, is this